Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Chinese International Mathematical Olympiad Team Selection Test 1990, problem number 3. Let S be a semigroup satisfying uh, the following property A dot B is not B dot A, if A is not B, for any elements A and B of this set. I denote the operation of this semigroup by dot. We have two parts, part A, the interesting part. We wish to prove that a dot b dot c equals a dot c for any three elements a, b, c of our semigroup. So this element b, in other words, is superfluous and can be omitted. And part b, we wish to give an example of such semigroup if our set s equals 1, 2, and so on up to 1,990. So it's a nice problem from general al algebra. Here are my hints. First. Uh, we assume that our operation dot is associative because it's one assumption about any semigroup. So that means that for any three elements a, b, c, we can put parentheses freely. a dot b dot c equals a dot b dot c. So parentheses, putting parentheses is not necessary. The order of putting elements is important, but parentheses are not. Notice also this well-known fact from logic that formula if a is not b then a dot b is not b dot a is equivalent to saying that if a dot b equals b dot a then a equals b. General law of logic and now main proof uh, follows from these three claims. Claim number one which you should demonstrate. Claim number one for every element x x dot x dot x equals x. Claim number two, less obvious, for every two elements, elements x and y uh, of our set, x dot y dot x equals x, equals x. So we can introduce this middle term y. And claim number three is actually what we want to prove. So prove each claim and finally give an example. Example is pretty straightforward if you think about it. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Well, you know what, maybe I will leave my claims written to rewrite them. Alright. Claim number one. Claim number two. Right. So let's proceed. Claim number one. We wish to prove that x dot x equals x. Proof. Proof is straightforward. We will use our property to, to because you should think about it. This is like a, this is like b, and to to say that a equals b, well, it's sufficient to say that a dot b equals b dot a. So let's investigate a dot b and b dot a. Well, what is a dot b? A dot b is x dot x of x, which is exactly the same as x dot x dot x by associativity. So a dot b equals b dot a. So by our assumption, this already means that our elements a and b are equal, which closes the proof of my first claim. Straightforward, as we have seen. Claim number two. We wish to prove that if x and y are any elements, then x dot y dot x equals x. Again, think about it. This is like a and this is like b. To show that a equals b, it's sufficient to say, to show that a dot b equals b dot a. So let's investigate both of them. a dot b is this. Notice that I can put parentheses in any order which I wish, and I wish to put parentheses last. And now, by claim number one, by claim number one, this right here is x. By claim number one. We have x dot y dot x. And what happens if I write it other way around? x dot x dot y dot x. So b dot a. Well, then I will put parentheses right here. And notice that here again, using claim number one, this is x. 
I claim number one. So again, we have x dot y dot x, which is clearly the same, which implies at this point already that x dot y dot x equals x, which closes this proof. Right. And finally, for our third claim, uh, again, you can think about it. This is like x, this is like y. To show that x equals y, we will investigate x dot y and y dot x. So let's do it. Right. So let's investigate uh, first a dot b dot c dot a dot c. I will put parentheses in different order. I will put them in the following way a dot b dot c dot a dot c. And now look closely. Here we have c a c. Uh, it can be replaced by just c, by claim number two. Yes. Let's go back to claim number two. x y x is x. c a c is c. So a b c. Right. What about a dot c dot a dot b dot c? Well, now I will put parentheses in the following manner: a dot c dot a dot b dot c. Again, by claim number two. This part right here is A. So we have again A, B, C. We see that they are the same, which means that A dot B dot C equals A dot B, which closes the last proof, which closes. Uh, the proof of claim number three, which was our result. And now let's give an example. Does any semi-group which satisfies our assumption exist? Does it exist? Well, example. Maybe let's write it in, I don't know, in gold. Example of such semi-group. Well, well, let's set S any non-empty set. any non-empty set and I will define I will define x dot y is by definition just x. So second argument is completely ignored. Is it associative? Well first of all it's obviously our set is closed under this operation it is and now x dot y dot z x dot y dot z is x dot y and x dot y is x. And what about this? Well, x dot y is x, x dot z is x again. It's the same, so our operation is associative. Uh, so from this, it follows that the operation is associative. And moreover, uh, if if a dot b equals b dot a, well, a dot b equals a and b dot a equals b. So our second assumption is satisfied. So we have given our example. So it was our example of our semigroup. Um, and that closes our problem. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.